Yes, we are live and direct right here on KEXP, KEXP.org. It's the afternoon show. I'm Larry Mizell Jr., and I'm in the live room right now with Monica Martin. Hi. Hi, how Hi. you doing? I'm doing well. It's great to have I'm you in here. So excited. I can't believe this is real. Yeah, you're it's in this honor. big old room with all these lights. It's, I mean, we all recognize these lights, so. That's what's I'm, up. It's, I feel happy. Well, I'm really happy that we got to get you in here. Wow. You. Absolutely. And I know you got some music for us. Yeah, we have some some songs. Uh, my dear friend, Rachel Mazer, is accompanying me. Hi, there. Hi. She's awesome. Right on. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's get into it. KEXP. Angel on my shoulder till I lost it. I'm barely out the door and she Exhausted, flirting with the line, and then I crossed it. Oh, 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 oh. Now I'm looking back, I think I planned it. Woke up naked in a van in Paris, testing my. you did you did that monica martin live right here you just heard cruel monica's single from the year 2020 which feels several lives ago i'm sure seems like yesterday (laughs) but also so so long ago okay well we're gonna have a stand-up session oh no i'm ready for that (laughs) let's see um yeah i'm doing pillowcase now Live on KEXP, Monica Martin. (laughs) This goes out to anyone who's ever burned their face on a light bulb. Context to come. I left my face from yesterday 
day on your pillowcase I guess we fought in a parking lot What did I say? I can't recall anything at all For all I know We drove the car right through the stars Martin live on KEXP, KEXP.org worldwide. You just heard a track called Pillowcase. It is unreleased as yet. Yes, unreleased. Released so far, but we'll get there. Okay. Oh, 
just can't get a grip of what I want or I need And I can't believe what you see in me I don't feel the same It's hard to explain oh. Why do you talk to me? Wanna tell you much better so much better off to leave And when you don't go I can't find the respect for you when you can't hear No Cause isn't it so Gotta let go, I know I don't feel the same It's hard to explain oh. Please don't be upset There's nobody like you I know you're the best Don't you think I regret That I can't trust I deserve a love That might last you yeah. My heart's a disease Just set yourself free, I know oh, no. Your touch brings me pain It's hard to explain Oh Monica Martin, live on KEXP. That was hard to explain. The unrequited love anthem we all don't need. <laughs> <laughs> or we, we always... need the anthem, but maybe we would not the unrequited love. Well, but... we need some more of those tracks for the, the mixtape. You know what Thank I mean. You, for... <laughs> you, you, you are boost seen. me. <laughs> live right here in the live room, KEXP, KEXP.org, the afternoon show. Thank you. 
secret special code no deeper hidden wisdom just accept we'll never know so much thank you Woof. tender beautiful sounds oh. monica martin i just wiped off half my face <laughs> the fabrication thank you love thank you we live on kexp <laughs> uh thank you so much um i love that song go easy kid thank you so much talk to me about the process how that song has evolved and where it came from well um i started writing it with uh someone named jacob jeffries who's another guy that lives in la and uh he just knows the songbook really well and you know the melody is feels classic and Mm -hmm. then sat with it for honestly a long while probably a year um year and a half and linked up with uh someone named cushy who i just his name's cushy patel and is a producer and writer himself and songwriter singer and he just knew how to translate um you want to translate into into the soundscape that I that I wanted. Mm-hmm. Yeah, lyrically it was an idea I'd been sitting on for for a while just like cuz I'm in my head all of the time and uh you know have a lot of I think, you know, some good tools, some maladaptive tools and just I don't know and freeze a lot too. Mm. And then I was talking to actually our friend Theo Katzman And we've all had this sort of conversation, but I'm like, wow, can you believe that I'm freaking the heck out? Because we're trying to make a three minute ditty, a song. What is wrong? Like, what a privilege. And also, but whatever, you know, there's a lot of really real stuff that's going on, too. But um, yeah, I'm just. Yeah. So then it slowly came together. There's nothing that's like ever been linear with any one of the songs that Mm -hmm. I've written. I usually like chip away for a long long time but um and your boy theo you mentioned he's in wolfpack yeah um, yeah love them um, yeah they're, got some they're fans great. among the, lead, the <laughs> listenership here yeah for sure theo's so he's such a he's a lovely dude brilliant writer yeah. too yeah he's for great sure. he's like so so earnest which i think is really i don't know rare yeah <laughs> so true. rare and then for a re-recording of this song, you linked up with another very brilliant writer named James Blake. Yeah, he's amazing. I can't... How like, did that come about? So so Cushy Patel, um, my producer, produced, you know, Hard to Explain, and, and all the songs, really, that I put out. Um, uh, he's been best friends with Jamila Jamil since he was, like... Oh, wow. 18 Mm -hmm. and so cushy jamila james and josh another long-term friend of jamila now james uh, all lived together and you know once it was safe to you know hang over i don't know two and a half years ago or whatever um i started hanging out with their them as a pod it just ended up being sort of the pod i guess and 
um, you know, I wasn't going to go over and be like, hey, James, James, hey, James, hey, James, here's, here's a mixtape, here, hey, right, hey, right, hey. Right. But, you know, it's, you know, it, he was curious, and Jamila hyped, hyped me so much, and she was like, James, do a song, James, do a song with Monica, do a song. She just, like, curates, and, of course, because she was hyping. And it was just, it was awesome. I showed him a few songs. He was working on this one track, uh, this duet, and he's like, I, and he comes into his living room he's, while he's working on his last record, and he's like, you know, there's a song. I wanted someone to do it with me, and would you want to do it? Like, would you want to cut it now? And I was like, <clears throat> <laughs> sir. Yeah. Um, so I know I should try to keep my chill, but I am going to scream into your couch pillow <laughs> right now. I'm going to do it. Do I have permission? And I screamed. I was like, heck yeah, I want to do this. <laughs> Anyway, so there's that, and then he really messed with um, Go Easy Kid, really loved it, and yeah, we we ended up cutting a version of it at Conway Studios, and that was like an incredible privilege for me. Like, his voice is so alien and so beautiful, and mm -hmm. I just, I loved, I don't know, it's one of my favorite things to sing with, with, with people. And then it's, I just, yeah. I really don't have words. I'm still processing it, honestly. Well, it's a beautiful yeah. thing. Hey, thanks. Um, <laughs> so you, I, well, I'm curious about kind of your influences. Your, your, your mm. songwriting is so vulnerable and tender uh, and, and like, like stark and powerful in like a really understated oh, way. I'm just curious you. about kind of some of your, your influences, your favorite writers, people you kind of came up listening to, wanting to be like. Oh, boy. Well, I feel like I've had so many different eras. Like, I've always maybe struggled with my identity, but just being born in Chicago, moving up to Wisconsin, and then there was a lot of, like, I put a lot of what my early foundation of musically, um, subconsciously, just to survive. I'm like, well, I love The Temptations. This is me not putting it into conscious voice. Like, mm -hmm. I love The Temptations, but all my friends like the Dixie Chicks. And I'm <laughs> right. just, you know, so then I, I ended up having this, like, kind of dual exposure to, like, the music my parents listened to and then also getting in a lot of, like, you know, country music. Then I was like, maybe I love ska. Maybe I'm emo. I don't know. It just, like, I ended up, whatever. So, uh, let's see. I love Billie Holiday. I love voices. I love Billie Holiday. Yeah, you yep. had a line about... Uh in rural Wisconsin waiting for Billie Holiday videos to load on YouTube. Well, the boonies and dial up. You remember dial up. I do. It was indeed. just like, <laughs> so, and now it's like, if somebody doesn't load immediately, it's just right. like, right. It's so funny that this has all been in like, you know, my lifetime, just that arc. But yeah, it would Billie Holiday. I like Fiona Apple. Oh yeah. I just like, I love voices where you feel like, their emotionality is just woven through it. And I like when that's not smothered, you know, mm -hmm. Rufus Wainwright. Yes. But I also, then also I love, you know, the dramatics of that. Yeah, the fabulous like, dramatics. I love it. And Fiona, like, it'll get huge too and mm -hmm. like lush and I love that. But all of that isn't as meaningful if you can't have those like super open spots too. And I think that they do it really well. But that's just, you know, even one corner yeah. of of it but those i think i wow. i always play i mean from here i listen to brandy carlisle mm. like obsessively for such a long time and she has a voice one of the first voices i heard with sort of like a break in it mm. like i don't want to call it a yodel but a lot of people are like you kind of yodel but she kind of yodels too or like mm -hmm. has that i guess it's i forget what it's actually called but and i'm not going to do it now because i'm too <laughs> um but yeah, all over the place. Nice. You can definitely hear that. And wow. like you said, you were born in Chicago, ended up in small town Wisconsin. Mm. You probably mm. know your way around a frozen custard. Oh, it's all all day. Yeah. All day. It's great yeah. for the the microbiome. I bet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> and you fronted a band in Madison called Fox. Mm, mm -hmm. they yeah. They did their thing for sure. The, yeah, there's like seven of us from Louis all High School together, and we had so much support and it just was like right at the perfect time I felt felt like we just had a lot of um champions and you know from like day trotter and pace and then mm -hmm. south by southwest was still I mean excuse me that sounded rude but I think there's a resurgence oop I'm walking it back 
Everyone knows what I'm fucking No doubt. <clears throat> freaking saying. Okay. But, um. <laughs> this is a safe place. Lord. Okay. You're just live on the radio. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. Um, but. Yeah, and we toured, we did so many things I never thought I'd be able to do. And through that, I, you know, was able to, one, have confidence, be like, I think I should do this, one, two. Um, yeah, just just keep writing. It sort of ran its course, like some people hated touring, some people sure. wanted to settle down and, yeah. I don't know, start different careers. And I moved to L.A., kept writing. The weather's better. Heck yeah. <laughs> it's like, it's so, so good. I went back for, for Christmas and I was like, <laughs> never again. <laughs> you all lied to me. I was there for so long. One, there's no brown people. Baraboo, there were three black people and they were me, Bianca, my sister, and my brother, Zach. So, uh, Zachariah. Anyway. Good times. It's nice to be in LA. Yeah, for sure. But it's definitely nice to be in the air up here. Yes, we were talking about yeah. that. The fresh air is a is a factor. Yeah, Big you can shout chew out. the air in LA. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> um, so you're in LA um, uh, doing your thing, mm -hmm. and what can we expect next? You've been releasing singles. Uh, you've got uh, what you've called like a new collection of music come out. I like that, by the way. Oh. I haven't seen you talk about like my album or anything like that. Yeah, I want to lead up to it. I mean, yeah. really, my manager. Um, uh, we've been in conversation for a long time, obviously about this since, uh, Fox broke up, but, um, just the, the touching base to see sort of where my head's at, um, I guess mental health wise, cause mm. it's some, there've been times where I d disappeared from, from my goal cause it's just overwhelming. So that's why we've been putting out sing a lot of time and then seeing like, Hey, are you ready to put another one out in like eight weeks? But right now I'm feeling really positive. This touring experience with Rachel Mazur has been awesome. Like, uh, just exposure, exposure therapy. to even the idea of touring, I realize it's like, if you finish a record, then you've got, you're going to tour it. And I feel, feel like that was a big part of why I was like, frozen and not getting stuff done but now sure. i'm like i have a collection of songs i would like to put out a record yeah it's gonna ha it's gonna happen i believe in we're looking forward to it go easy you know oh yeah and see it's like yeah it's like we're all gonna <laughs> we're all gonna die why do i have to like <laughs> swiftly make it morose um yeah but just um yeah go easy kid there you go gotta do that Appreciate the pace and the intention and your vulnerability. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate you. For sure. A lot. I got you. Me. Monica Martin, live on KEXP. Thanks for being here. Thank, Thank you, you, Rachel. Thank you. Thank you both. <laughs> this is KEXP, KEXP.org, the afternoon show. Uh, check the session out on YouTube. Um, you like and subscribe, all that good stuff. Thank you for supporting everything that we do here, making amazing sessions like this happen and making amazing radio. Thank you all so much for being here. This is KEXP. Discover new music at listenerpoweredkexp.org.